Calfreezy, live like KSI for one whole week. I'm interested to see how this goes. I, I kind of want to, I kind of want to like take what JJ does minus the boxing side. Like I want to take the, like the, the cardio sessions and the circuits and stuff like that. Even the diet maybe. And I want to do that, not even for a video, just to see. He has amazing genetics. Um, so he gets really like ripped really quick, but I kind of want to try it, but Freezy uh, has done it for one whole week. Let's see how it went. All right. His body transforms overnight. That's what I'm saying. Roland, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Okay. There we go. Freezy's video. Huh. New year, and it's a year where I really want to push myself and really take things up a level. Okay. I have one friend in particular that anytime he me? touches me. anything, me. he excels at. He's talking about me. He's talking about me. He's gonna say it's gonna. He's gonna say it's it's Mini Minza. I can tell. Why is that? The nightmare. KSI started as a YouTuber and Fine. built that up to epic proportions, but he didn't stop there. Whatever, you know. He moved into boxing, music, business, and he's part of some unknown group. Of ah, yeah, you're starting to suck him off a little bit too much there, Cal, you know. You know, we, we know what he does. We know what he does. What better way to find out the secret behind his <laughs> success than to follow his exact daily routine for an entire week? That was a good transition. So this is day one. Now you guys have definitely. You know what I always want. I always wonder this about certain things, right? You see this shot here. Do we think that he's got up? Do we? No, nah, he ain't showered. I was gonna say. Do we think like when I've done certain things where it's like, all right, film this quick bit as if I'm just waking up. I've got up, I've showered, and then I've got into bed. I think he might not have showered there though. Roland, stay even to get this up. Yeah, that alarm. Horrible. Horrible alarm. If you have that, you're actually a psycho. Roland, thank you for another gifted sub. So this is day one. 8.30, you uh, know. You guys have definitely seen in all his videos. This guy will just go on and on about how hard he works and how difficult his week is. On paper, he's Doggy. done it across. It doesn't look too bad, but... Nah, it's not yeah, I looked bad. away for like half a second. It doesn't look too bad. You're going to do shit, right? But... <laughs> Nah, it's not going to be too bad, surely. All right, so this is a week in the life of KSI whenever I'm in camp. So enjoy, Calfreezy. I have breakfast at around 9 a.m. 10 a.m., okay. I'm in the gym. That's pretty slow, I think. That's really slow. Wait, wait. Is that 25 meters? That can't be. I know it's slightly cut, but 25 meters, right? Wait. Jim. That's probably about five. No. Yeah, that's probably about five meters. That can't be feet. That has to be meters. So when he's finished, when he's hot, hit halfway, sprinters are finished. That's pretty slow, I think. That's really slow, actually. After my workout, uh, 1 p.m., I'm having lunch. Fucking other city okay. steps about it. 1.30 p.m. to about 4 p.m., I'm just playing games and relaxing. 4 p.m. I said this right when I went, when I, uh, when we did the training like KSI for 24 hours or whatever it was, I said like, oh, JJ, can you do a puzzle or something like that? And we have to copy it. He was like, oh man, I don't, I don't, I don't really do puzzles and that, you know, I don't really like, I don't really play games or do puzzle anything. Donnie does puzzles every day. Every day. I film a YouTube video. 5 p.m. I'm eating dinner. 7 p.m. I do about a 30 minute run and it has to be at least 5 p.m. Fuck, you know, why does my body hurt so much? 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. is when I start to relax and then 11.30 p.m. I'm sleeping. I'm at the, yo. 
Whoa, whoa, relax. <laughs> I'm at the end of my day. I have burnt just shy of 3,200 calories today. I am tired now, but I'm terrified for the morning. Oh, That's God. What JJ is about is that he can. Anybody yeah, can. Yeah, Roland David gets the sub this. again. This guy does it for three months. All I've got to do is for a week. But I'm still scared of tomorrow. By the way, have they like, is there like some filter on here? My skin looks really smooth. Like, it looks like an Instagram filter. What the fuck is going on? Anyway, it's time to get some well earned rest. Yeah, this video is edited well. JJ's routine is that he does actually get a lot of sleep because sleep is very important. So let's get it. See you guys tomorrow. Day two today. The thing uh, is, right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not, I'm not going to do a day. Like, I don't want to do a day. The thing is, like, Someone else can't do this, if you know what I mean. Like, I don't, I don't think anyway, because, so he does, he's eaten lunch, he's had breakfast by nine, ten he's in the gym, films a video, seven he goes on a run. Like, that's, that would mean that if, to, to work, he would have to work between like 12 and five, which isn't obviously a whole day's work. Obviously, his work is working out. But as in, if you wanted to just do this. No, I'm saying, I'm not saying like Cal's do it in his own way. I'm saying like, if you wanted to do this outside, like say I wanted to go, all right, I want to carry on my channels and stuff, but I want to try and do the same stuff. You'd have to take some time off for it. Phoenix, take it to Prime. You can't do it as a nine to five employee, yeah. Um, Don't mind the oats, actually. I think they're a pretty good start to the day, but... It actually makes a lot of sense as to why JJ can go from being the the fat neek, the, uh, the, the large guy, to very quickly get in shape. But an update on the body, um, it's together for now. Um, we got quite a bit today as well. Yeah, I don't know. This guy just always seems to have more and more. Who is it who does that? Is that Ryan Trey and does that? He holds the mic like he just holds the mic here. Drifter, thank you for the two months. He does, right? It's just, it's a weird style. I quite like it. Because obviously, you, normally with the mics, you just attach it. Sounds tired already. Well, he's just woken up. Yeah, it's quite like, it feels homey. It, it, yeah, it feels, it does give a really personal vibe to it. I get it. I like it. You're doing your stuff during the day, whether it be filming or meetings or whatever, and then I'm just dreading. It's like the eternal dread, either a run in the evening, sprints, another gym session, whatever it is. It sort of just puts you in a little bit of a bad mood. I can't even speak. It's early in the morning, all right? But I won't let it ruin my day. Let's get it. I knew going into this, diet was going to be really important. Yeah. But I'm finding it really, Yo, really tough. Rollins, thank you for another five gifted. Can we get some hype in the chat for Rollins, please? And Lemon Lover, thank you for the sub. Thank you so much. Damn. Thank you so much. You should do it. I want to be, I want to go on like a routine. The issue is like, okay, so say I do this week. Say I start Monday. I can do Monday. I can do Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday are entirely filming. Like I literally, I, I am filming from like 8 a.m. until I sleep. Both days. Friday I could do. Like this week's okay. Just those two. But then the week after... I'm filming again like three or four days fully. Wake up earlier. I'm talking like I'm starting at like 8am. The video is so well edited though. It is really, really well edited. Rollins with another gift and stuff. Thank you so much. Enough to eat enough to have energy for the next day. And that means that sometimes I'm eating stuff that I probably don't want to eat. Raspberries. Healthy. God, they look good. JJ, tell me you have a cheat day, man. Tell me you have a cheat day. I'm not, in, not in camp. I'm boxing gym and I'm oh my God, he sent this in our group chat. This man pulled me over. He's going to be late <laughs> to the boxing gym, but fear not. We'll get the work done and uh, I'm excited to not be standing out here in the freezing cold. Bro, how are you getting pulled over on a bike? I swear, is it not illegal to, to chase someone on a bike? He just tweeted he'll stop with the fast-paced videos and do more stuff like this. What well, Freezy did. Oh, I'll stay for the prime. That's so... I love Rollins. 
I don't know. I don't know what he didn't have a helmet. That's not. That's not illegal. That's weird. Anyway. He had an actual oh, boxing set. Yeah, idea what this is called. A big fuck off medicine ball. Oh, that looks long. I think I'd shit myself, bro. <laughs> well done, mate. I mean, my three year old daughter punches harder than him. Bro, I would I shit my myself. First boxing that. session, which honestly, it's like a totally different type of cardio to anything I'd done before. But I did actually really enjoy it, which surprised me. And oh. at this point, honestly, I was pretty optimistic about the entire week. About 1 p.m., I'm having lunch. 4 p.m., I'm doing my second boxing session of the day. Jesus. This guy's boxed before. And 7.30 to 11 p.m. I'm relaxing, chilling. Jesus. Wednesday, I wake up at 8.30 a.m. I have breakfast at 9 a.m. The is... thing is as well, the other thing about this is, right, and this is no disrespect to JJ at all, but JJ also has like a chef, for example. So whenever Freezy's doing this, he does have... Like, he has more behind it. Kato, thank you for the sub. JCW, thank you so much for the bits. Uh, Ted, I know five eight a lot. Hey, no worries. Thank you so much. Thank you for making mine other days so much better. Really means a lot. Hey, love Ted. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Hope you good. This is long. This is super long. Currently, day whatever. Day it is. I'm this has a Ryan Trey and vibe to it, and I'm really but liking it. Every time I turn on this camera, I think. We have to remain positive. And most importantly, we have to get it done today. Becoming very apparent that is the reason why we're doing this. That is the most important thing about this challenge is to have a routine, but let's go. God damn, I need to go lift some weights. 10 a.m. Today is gonna be a weight session. So he does. So he goes on a run every other day. So he goes like, so day two was just two, it was two sessions of boxing. Rube, thank you for the sub. Trying to like, I'm trying to clock what it is. Physio. Oh. My physio session. In terms of pain, yeah, this is, I mean, it feels like you've got a blade on me. Oh, it <laughs> is a fucking blade as well. So we've basically done a deep tissue massage. Deepest tissue. Deep. So yeah, we're just getting the blood for the circulation moving within the hamstrings. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. The hardest part of JJ's routine so far. The hardest part of the routine definitely so far has been the runs, man. The running is just terrible. Yeah, I'm really struggling with the running side of things. I just really See, don't I'd love enjoy the running it. Side. As much as I try to, I find it a very lonely experience and I, I enjoy I get the that. company of other people and look at it. I get that fully. Like I I literally only I go through phases where I go on runs. Like I started going on runs with Ellen. And um, that's, that's all I like. Like, I don't, I don't really enjoy running on my own. I'm hoping that if I can get the gym sorted where I can at least watch, you know, like I could watch a football match while running, that's okay. Because then you can just run on the spot while watching a match and it's like, your mind's not on it. Harsh, thank you for the 15 months. Going on a run alone sucks, yeah. What JJ does, a lot of it is very isolated. You have music, he's up on stage alone in a boxing ring, it's just him. These are things where it really is just him and he has to rely on him. And I think when it comes to running, it's just, it's just a bit lonely. I'm not enjoying these runs at all. It is what it is, so let's get it. So is it you Rollins, thank you for another five gifted. Thank you so, so much. 7 p.m. I'm doing another Running in one place. place is so lame sometimes. I hate running on a treadmill, trust me. I hate it. But sometimes if it's either like like pouring it down or uh, I'm on my own or whatever, or I want to watch a match or something, it's better. Music or a podcast, not enough. It is. Like, I will still go on a run. Yes, well, thank you for the 14 months. A minute run. Again, it must be at least 5K. Wow. I know I'm on a run. Well, that's pretty cool. 
my legs nice. feel like lead. This is, this is terrible. Update, back from the run, and that was my slowest run ever. The only positive that I can take from that Indeed, run, no, thank you for the five months. obviously, is the one that I actually just got it. I got it done. And then the second thing was I actually made a conscious effort not to look at my watch. My very first run, every couple hundred meters, I was checking my watch. If I just think yeah, about that's, numbers, that's the other thing. I don't think I'm ever going to enjoy the run. Oh, and I managed to turn off that Instagram filter. Time to shower, <laughs> bed, and let's get after it for another day. I was really hoping that my- Here we go, day four. Feel better. He's packing. Um, in the sense that they would- <laughs> like, like close up, you know. Used to it feeling like tired like feeling tired but every day they're just more and more tired which makes it more and more difficult 4 p.m we're doing our second session of the day and we're doing sprints see this is this is the thing right that the sprints when we did the training like jj for one day obviously we, that's just one day that's nothing on this we did the sprints and it absolutely killed all of us like people all of us were dying inside but it's the thing i found the most rewarding like I, after that I, I went on a few like i probably did like another like four or five um sprinting sessions nowhere near that level but like me theo and harry went on one for example i that's what i loved picked a good day for it this is where the the mental fortitude comes in yeah, it's very easy to sprints, sit at home in my nice feel good afterwards say, scrap this I'll just, I'll take, I'll take a day off today. But then I thought, JJ never takes a day off. I wonder what he was doing with, um, it rains and he doesn't bring a raincoat. Well, he's not going to run in there. I wonder what he did sprint wise. Because JJ's thing was, you know, you sprint. You sprint like 30 meters, jog back, sprint. All right. and you do that like a I stupid am. amount of times. So tired now. Yeah, Pezza, thank like you for the 13. Dragon, thank you for the gift. When I looked out that window you so and I saw the, the rain, I was like, I really don't want to do this. But in a weird way, I, I kind of liked it because in my brain, I was happy that I'd gone out there and done it. And while the sprint sucked, ass probably looked like i was running in quicksand at least i did it and i think that's what counts um fortunately that's me done in terms of exercise for the day and now it's just time for games whatever the hell that is i wonder what he was doing for games at as well because jj Flynn is like overwatch does puzzles and stuff why like that he was so successful at all the things that he tries and now it seems so blatantly obvious as to why that is the relentless mindset, the discipline, the consistency of, of, of completing his routine every single day. And the combination of those- No cameraman this video. There is some- Is why he's so successful. Like this would have been set up by a cameraman. So- This, this would have all it. been vlogs. It's a final day. It's a nice day as well, look. Blue skies. There is a lot to think about. I am very excited to not be having oats anymore. They're just too dry. They're too boring. I should have. I should have got JJ's chef for the week. My body just feels really tired. That's the thing. Like the J yeah, JJ doesn't really have. I don't. I don't know if he has oats every day, but if he does, JJ actually, he's quite like. This is coming from me. I'm a plain eater. He's a, he's a very plain eater as well. Uh, S M L R. Thank you for the two months. Tired two times a day training. Uh, it just it, it takes it out of you. Plus all the other stuff on top, man. All the all the filming, all the other shit. Anyways, enough complaining. Let's go. Look at it. Jeez, look at this absolute unit. This is my trainer warming up to teach you. This circuit is is the one that JJ does, and uh, you're gonna pretty much just make sure I don't cheat. No, no, no slacking around here, baby. Okay, 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 okay. Let's get going. Final workout of the week consists of this six is the workout we did. And you have to do that seven times. Yeah, that's only what a we minute did. Minute break between each set. Good rest, Callum. I mean, you know what? It's nice to see Freezy doing this because the last time I saw this workout. He was the one making us do it. And he just he just kept changing it. He kept going, you know what? You spoke to me badly. Do another 30 seconds. Uh, on the day. Reeve is hench. Reeve is, Reeve is a god. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. 
<laughs> He's <laughs> losing his mind. <laughs> That's a circuit over. I'm sorry I had to see the flabby body, but I need to go have a lie down. I'm not even lying down. I've got to go film now. Imagine this is what it's like for him to win the side. like, okay, we've got more side men now. And he's just like, fuck off. After finishing filming, yep. it was time to work on the puzzle. We've been working on the entire week. But just before that, I wanted to have a little conversation with the man himself and talk about some of the things that have been happening over the week. Yes. Whereabouts are you right now? Uh, literally just finished training. Bro, you just had your fight. Why are you... <laughs> Take a break. Yeah, I know, but there's no rest for the wicked, man. Bro, like, one of the biggest things, right? So I did... I, I, I completed the week. All right, you'll be glad yeah. to know. I did it all. Congrats. Yeah, it was... It is mental. And, and by that, I mean the work itself isn't like ridiculously hard. Like I'm sure training is difficult, that's fine. For me, I found the most difficult part was the fact that you're just doing it consistently again I mean, and that, again. Yeah, I'd I'm agree with that. I'm fed up of having oats in the morning. I don't want no more oats. <laughs> what about like the sprints or the weight training? How did you enjoy that? Because I remember when JJ, I think JJ thinks that like what he does, the boxing is obviously like really hard and technical. The workout and the sprints are things that you can do. You know what I mean? Like, we went and did the workouts. We didn't do it to his level. We did the same weights. We did the same amounts. We did everything. But, like, the speed... You know the one... I don't know if you remember the video. Where he's going, like, we have to do that. You know what I mean? Like, with the weight. We're going at this speed. <sighs> Whereas in the video... Where he does training, he actually goes... Like that. We just don't do the same pace as him, but we are managing to do the whole workout. Yeah, no. Um, the part that I didn't enjoy though, is that like you, you do the training in the morning, but then it's like the fact that in the back of my head, I know the entire time I have sprints coming in the evening and that, that just sort of puts me in a bad mood. I want to feel, feel, feel fulfilled. And yeah. I want to, you know, push myself and challenge myself and see how Jeez, far I can deep. Is there, is there one particular thing um, that you would attribute your success to? You know, I've said it several times, you know, legacy Hard work. Oh, okay. Yeah. And the way to get that, is too hard work. There we go. Discipline. Even when times are tough, you still got to just keep going. It, it was the sprints. I was. It was absolutely chucking it down, and I genuinely thought I could just not do this today and film yeah, it a yeah, different yeah, day. Yeah. But that's the thing. It's annoying me that the focus is on the camera, that, on the phone. Have that thought, and then actually act on it and go. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. So it's the people who go. I'm still gonna do this anyway. Those are the people that make a difference. If you can control this, you can literally do anything you put your mind to. It sounds so corny, but after this week, I was there like, I actually believe that the consistency and the routine is actually yeah. what makes people successful. And you look a month down the line after that intense routine and consistency, yeah, yeah, yeah. you will see results regardless. Exactly. All right, bro. Anyways, thank you very much and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. You got, you know you that. Got you got shit going Put on. Put on Do Not Disturb, man. <laughs> The week was over, but my year has just started. And if there's one thing I've learned from this week, it's that consistency, oh my god, and routine. Oh my god, he's finishing the, the puzzle. To my puzzle. No way. Oh, Donny's made it like a movie. That was a very good video. Very, very good video.